We continue to have challenges uh, in the Great Plains with dry weather, but it's going to rain someday. And uh, you know, my friends here locally that say this is a lot like the 50s, and I tell them, you know, I'd rather hear their stories than live them. But uh, it will rain, and when it does, it's going to be a world of opportunity, especially for the cow calf man. When you look at uh, just the tremendous markets that we have, if we can put a pound of beef on at a lower cost of gain, I think we have unprecedented prices. Uh, I think we have unprecedented opportunity. It's exciting to know that demand, even in these uncertain times with the economy the way it is, demand continues to grow. Uh, when we look at U.S. premium beef and see the opportunities and just see where we are within the year and our branded products at National Beef, uh, they're up 33 percent just in the past 12 months. So uh, the world still will pay for value. You know, when we talk about historically, year in, year out, that, that goes up, that goes down. Uh, but historically, the choice select spread is really where the business of beef and the, the margins happen as far as as adding value to these cattle. And so I think with those those price incentives, and we're going to have to have those with the input costs that we have, I believe it's very, very important that we create cattle, as always, clear back to Henry's rules and Henry's system of we need to have a live calf. We need that calf to grow very fast and efficiently to the end point. We want that end point to be for a steer uh, when he will hit the hit the grid at, at this day and age, actually at 1,450 pounds, because today's grids um, call for a 1,050 pound carcass. Because we have fewer cattle, we need to be able to sell more pounds, and, and we can hit those targets with the technology and with the genetics that we have. And so to do that, not only do we need a 1,050 pound carcass, we need a 1,050 pound carcass that will, at the bare minimum, give you a choice animal that gives you another $21 um, per hundredweight, or even more and more of our cattle and more and more of our customers' cattle are able to hit the prime grade. Uh, we just recently closed out a, a pin of cattle that were 12 percent prime, and the plant averages typically in the past were 1 to 2 percent, and, and that's been creeping up. But I think when we look at our customers, uh, most of our customers are, are anticipating and, and hitting a target of between 5 and 10 percent prime, and that, that's real money. I had a friend say, you know, uh, one of the free lunches in the beef business is the prime. And when we look at uh, young people entering into this business, I think it is, is very, very exciting, all the technology and all the information we have. And I think it's going to be important for them to be able to incorporate this information. And information is nothing more than a, a pile of numbers and a pile of of uh, just data if you don't use it. And I think when I visit with young folks and, and listen to them, I think there's almost information overload. They're so used to texting and tweeting and doing all these things. You know, they're, they're here, there, they're everywhere. But what do you do to take that information and turn it into knowledge and take that knowledge and turn it into to actually a profitable enterprise? It is so easily available to them Oftentimes, I see many producers and many youngsters not taking advantage of that. Oh, it's right there. I can look at that whenever. Well, you still have to study it. You still have to apply it. And, uh, you know, more and more I see in the Angus business, I see people that are, are frankly getting away from the basics of, of what makes a cattleman money in the commercial cattle business. And so people raise cattle for different reasons. I, I have no problem with that. But if you're going to be a professional, commercial cattlemen, you're going to have to create cattle that are problem free, that grow fast and efficiently, that uh, will hit the targets of merit uh, in the feedlot and on the rail and leave a female in the environment uh, where, where you're operating to replicate the process, to do it year after year. And so you take this information and you take the knowledge from the sire evaluation summary to have the right inputs. There seems to be a lot of discussion recently about heterosis and the merit of heterosis. There's really no debate on, on how important heterosis is. It's been documented, and you know, I'm 50 some years old now, and it's been documented forever, uh, just the importance 
of heterosis from a standpoint of reproduction, uh, from the standpoint of just calf vigor. And, and then if we, if we apply heterosis appropriately, uh, we have breed complementarity. And so most of the customers we work with, uh, in one way, shape, or another, are using our Angus genetics in crossbreeding situations. And so we can take the pure information from the American Angus Association, we can take the pure information from Gardner Angus Ranch, and we can incorporate that into to crossbreeding situations to make cattle that are even better. I think it's exciting and, and interesting to note in our Southern Carcass Improvement Project, uh, a two-year period of time, if we did nothing else other than use that high accuracy progeny proven Angus bull of merit, we increase the value of each and every animal by $73 per head. That's real money and that's the kind of information that we need to take and use and apply and, and none of us are saying we need to change the southern cow. We're trying to change her calf and add value to that. You know, a lot of our customers in southern Florida, I mean, it's the tropics. They're going to need Boss Indicus cattle. They're going to need heat tolerance. They're going to need that heterosis, maximum heterosis, to, to have the, the highest percent pregnant that they possibly can. But if we make that with Angus genetics that can, can add value to the, to the beef business, then I think, uh, you know, we can meet the demand and we can, again, have a greater chance at profitability.